Well, hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica Likewise. I'm a BCBA, and I'm passionate about helping other people pass their BCBA exam because I know it can be really challenging, and I don't want it to be an obstacle in the way of you living the life of your dreams, helping kids, and serving kids the way you want to. So I make videos every Sunday. I call them Study Sundays to help you study for your exam. Today, I'm actually going to break down the difference between an inter-response time and an inter-trial time, which is something some people use interchangeably, and they can't be used interchangeably. So here's the difference. Stay tuned and I'll let you know. Hey guys, and welcome back. Like I said, today we're going to break down the difference between an inter-response time and an inter-trial time. This is something you may see on your exams. You do need to know the difference between the two of them. So inter-response time, people tend to understand that, right? That's pretty clear. It's when it's the amount of time between two episodes of the same behavior. So let's say you want to track the inter-response time between a child raising their hand in class, right? You would track how long it took between one instance of raising your hand and then the next time the child raised their hands. That's inter-response time, right? Two episodes of the same behavior. Inter-trial time has to do with discrete trial training. And that's the, the time between two presentations of the same trial when you're using, you could be using any trial, but the presentation between two trials. So let's just say I'm working on colors and let's say I hold up you know, the pencil and I say, okay, what color is that? And you say purple. And then I wait seven seconds and I'm probably gonna lose the child's attention, right? And then I hold up another pencil. This one happens to be purple too, but it's what I have here. And so I say, okay, what color is it? And then the child answers. Well, the time in between me saying, what color is it? And then the second trial of what color is it? That's inter-trial time. So inter-response time has to do with the person who's engaging in the behavior, whereas inter-trial time has to do with the therapist. What you want to know for your test regarding inter-trial time, they're not going to try to trick you on the nuances. You're not going to want, I mean, you may see an example of, um, you know, what is the difference between the two. But the important thing to know with inter-trial time is that the shorter the trial, the better. You want to have can trials um, happen quickly, right? Because if you don't, number one, you can't get as many uh, opportunities in for the child to learn, but also you're going to lose the child's attention. So that's what they want you to know, is that as when you're teaching as a therapist, you want to present the trials quickly and you want to keep the inter-trial time short, the time between trials short. So, you know, when does that not happen when an RBT maybe doesn't have the materials organized? So let's say before, you know, before you get a child to the table, you want to make sure all your materials are organized. If you're using flashcards, that you have them, that you're not fumbling around with data sheets and taking too long to collect data or trying to look for stuff. If you're using um, your iPhone, whether you're using Rethink or Catalyst to take data that you're not fumbling through pages and trying to see what you're going to do next. Know what you're going to do, right? Have a plan of what you're going to do. Know how you're going to take data. Know where your stimulus is. Know what questions you're going to ask. The way you can ask questions or present trials Quickly. That's really the key of what you want to know for inter-trial time. And again, inter-response time is just two episodes of the same behavior. It doesn't really matter what the behavior is, but two episodes of the same behavior. So again, it could be hitting, it could be kicking, it could be calling out, it could be a behavior like raising your hand, you know, asking for something, the time between those two behaviors, that's the inter-response time. So I really hope that that helps. And I, again, if you have a question, head over to my website, Hope Education Services. I would love to help you uh, get your questions answered. There's a form on there. I made this video because someone sent me that question in. So drop your question in and I'd be happy to answer it. And again, like, subscribe to this channel. I post a video every Sunday. And also let me know if you like these videos because that's why I keep making them. I really love when people tell me, hey, this is helping me study. So if you wanna see more of them, I, you know, Right now, super busy, and I'm taking my personal time to make these. So if you want me to continue doing that, I would love some reinforcement in the form of a comment in the video. Have an amazing week studying, and I'll see you next Sunday for Study Sunday.